the Swiss Federal Institute of Aquatic Science and Technology (EWAG), German acronym for Agenesische Anstalt für Wasserversorgung, Abwasserreinigung und Gewässerschutz, is a Swiss water research institute and an internationally networked institution. As part of the Swiss Federal Institutes of Technology domain, it is an institution of the Federal Department of Home Affairs of the Swiss Confederation. The EWAG is based in Dubendorf near Zurich and Kastanienbaum near Lucerne. After its foundation in 1936 it concentrated on wastewater treatment and drinking water supplies. From these beginnings it has expanded into a multidisciplinary research institute with a focus on three primary research areas, water as a foundation of health and well-being, water as an essential factor in the functioning of our ecological systems, and strategies for the mitigation of water use conflicts. Nowadays, with a staff of over 500 employees, EWAG is actively engaged in research, teaching and consulting in all areas pertaining to water. EWAG's overall aim is to ensure the sustainable use of water resources and infrastructure and to harmonize the ecological, economic and social interests associated with bodies of water. In doing so, the EWAG plays an important role in bridging research and practice. History The EWAG was founded in 1936 as an advisory board of the ETH Zurich for wastewater treatment and drinking water supplies. Less than ten years later this information center officially becomes the Swiss Federal Institute of Aquatic Science and Technology or EAWAG as per its German acronym, whose mission is increasingly devoted to developing integrated approaches to water management and protection. Besides being key to implementing the first water management regulation in 1957, the institute later demonstrated that the growth of green algae that plagued Swiss lakes at the time was mostly due to the release of detergent-derived phosphates. These were finally banned in 1985. The institute grew through the 1960s and 1970s. First came the Kastanienbaum Hydrobiological Research Center, followed in 1968 by WHO's recently created International Reference Center for Waste Disposal, out of which the current Department for Sanitation, Water and Solid Waste for Development emerged. In 1970, EWAG, until then an institute within ETH Zurich, becomes an affiliated institute within the ETH system, moving a few months later in their new premises in Dubendorf. In 1993, a new law sets it as an independent water research institute within the ETH domain. In 2004 the Fishing Information Center Fiber, in 2008 the Water Agenda 21 and the Ecotox Center, and in 2010 the Centers of Excellence CEEB and CCDW were founded. In 2007 EWAG moved to the Forum Krasbach, itself a winner of several environmental awards. Activities. Topic. Research As a water research institute EWAG has three major focus areas Water for human welfare Safe drinking water supply and wastewater disposal are essential to maintain human welfare. EWAG research projects aim to develop optimum approaches and strategies to meet future threats caused by increasing contamination, population growth, and climate change. Water for ecosystem function The increasing pressure of civilization has a negative influence on the water environment and ecosystems. Developing strategies and measures to both strengthen the resilience and adaptive capacity of ecosystems. Maintaining a sustainable provision of ecosystem services is another focus of EWAG research. Strategies for trade offs and competing demands. Water use conflicts arise when direct human needs for water and the prevention of negative impacts on ecosystems have to be accommodated at the same time. EWAG research projects develop integrated approaches and put specific emphasis on strategies to meet energy concerns in the context of trade-offs and competing demands. The EWAG has 12 research departments, where research is conducted by natural and social scientists and engineers. This combination permits a wide range of water research. These departments are Aquatic Ecology Eco investigates life in water and encompasses various disciplines within ecology and evolutionary biology. Environmental Chemistry UCHEM, researches the effect of contaminants in waters and their reduction to improve water quality. Environmental Microbiology UMIK, deals with microbial life and activities in surface and groundwater, in drinking water and in technical systems such as wastewater treatment and drinking water treatment plants. Environmental Social Sciences S, investigates environment-related societal processes from the background of several social science disciplines. Environmental Toxicology UTOX, aims to recognize and understand the effects of chemicals on the aquatic environment. Fish Ecology and Evolution FISHEC, investigates the life, evolution and biodiversity of aquatic organisms, most especially fish. 
Process engineering deals with current and future problems of wastewater and drinking water treatment, as well as the protection of water resources and resource recycling. Sanitation, water and solid waste for development by enhancing local competencies, Sandec contributes to improvements in water supply and wastewater management in developing countries. Surface Waters Research and Management researches and manages aquatic system processes. System Analysis, Integrated Assessment and Modeling develops models and techniques in order to understand and predict processes which affect water and other natural resources. Urban Water Management SWW strives to develop sustainable concepts for water and nutrient cycles in urban areas. Water Resource and Drinking Water w +T researches physical and chemical processes in bodies of water with the aim of ensuring the long-term quantity and quality of drinking water, together with external partners and various EWAG departments. The EWAG directs and participates in interdisciplinary and transdisciplinary projects in order to combine pure research with practical problem solving. Topic. Teaching The EWAG supports universities in educating undergraduate and doctoral candidates in the natural, engineering and social sciences. Numerous master's students and doctoral candidates from within the country and from abroad are supervised and guided in projects pertaining to water research every year. In addition, approximately 26 apprentices are trained in laboratory, commercial or IT-related areas. Furthermore, the EWAG offers specialists in water resources management, administration and science regular courses in further education peak, practice-oriented EWAG courses. The courses are based on current research work and experience and help to promote communication exchanges of knowledge and experience between research and practice. In the area of further education, six research scholarships are granted to undergraduate and doctoral candidates from developing countries each year within the framework of the Partnership Program for Developing Countries EPP. Topic. Consulting The EWAG carries out various advisory mandates both inland and abroad including, for example, for the Swiss Confederation, cantons and NGOs. EWAG specialists sit as experts in numerous national and international boards and committees. The EWAG Aquatic Research Institute is, moreover, home to various specialist advisory centers, the Swiss Centre for Applied Ecotoxicology EWAG, EPFL, serves as a knowledge hub and discussion platform for research and development, consulting and education in the field of applied toxicology. The Fisheries Advisory Office Fiber, a centre for information and further education for recreational and professional fishermen, is jointly run by EWAG, the Federal Office for the Environment and the Swiss Fishing Association. Water Agenda 21, an information platform and forum to support the development of strategies for water resource management. SODIS Solar Water Disinfection, a project aimed at securing access to clean drinking water in developing countries. The method is a simple process for disinfecting drinking water which uses sunlight to kill off pathogenic agents such as viruses, parasites and bacteria. The Micropollutants Process Engineering Platform is a project run jointly by the Swiss Water Association, Swiss Federal Office of the Environment and EWAG. The platform was set up in 2012 and has established itself as a central, independent advisory unit for technical issues on the elimination of trace elements in wastewater treatment plants. The Platform for Water Quality was co-founded 2015 by the Swiss Water Association, EWAG and the Federal Office for the Environment. It is aimed at water quality assessment in surface waters, with a particular emphasis on micropollutants. Topic awards EWAG researchers have received national and international awards for their achievements. The most important awards include, 2016, Peter Killam Memorial Award, Olay Seehausen 2016, Energy Globe National Award Morocco, Bouzian Outt 2015, Swiss Academies Award for Transdisciplinary Research, Sabine Hoffman 2015, Distinguished Women in Chemistry Award, Janet Herring 2015, Harvey M. Rosen Memorial Award, Elizabeth Sally, Urs von Gunten et al., 2015, Theodosius Dobzhansky Prize, Catherine Wagner 2014, IWA Project Innovation Award Global, Tove Larsen et al., 2014, IW a Project Innovation Award Europe and West Asia, Tove Larsen 2012, Special Recognition Award for Outstanding Design at the Reinvent the Toilet competition sponsored by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, Dr. Tove Larsen et al., 2012, Dr. J.E. 
Brandenburger Prize, Martin Wegelin 2011, IWA Development Solutions Award, Sandec 2010, Mülheim Water Award, Thomas Egli 2009, Vietnamese Medal of Honor for Outstanding Achievements in Teaching and Professional Training in Vietnam for Michael Berg, Walter Geiger, Antoine Morel and Roland Schertenlieb 2008, Credit Suisse Award for Best Teaching, Willy Gudja 2008, Transdisciplinarity Award for the Novaquatis Project for Dr. Tove Larsen and Dr. Judith Lienert 2007, Watt Door for the Energy Efficiency of the Ewag Building Forum Kuzbak 2006, Muelheim Water Award, Mark Bowler 2004, Energy Globe Award for SODIS 1999, Stockholm Water Prize, Werner Stumm 1990, Marcel Benoist Prize, Bruno Messerly, Werner Stumm and Hans Urschigeth Otto Jarg Water Protection Prize was set up in 1980 in order to honor dissertations and master's theses at the ETH Zurich in the area of water protection and hydrology. Numerous young EWAG researchers have been recipients of this award since then. Topic. Notes and references Topic. See also Science and technology in Switzerland Topic. External links Official website Forum Quizback Wave 21 Ecotox Center